My name is Viola Johnson. And my memories of Jack are very similar to the ones that I've read. My first memory of Jack Jackson oh, was 1974. Jill and I had decided that maybe we needed to come out of our private play and find others like us, or at least we hoped there were others like us. We found an advertisement in the back of a New York newspaper and it gave an address. We screwed up the courage to go to that address on the night that they had listed. And we entered a room that had about 20 people in it, none of whom could see us because their back was to the door. But leading the group was a man who was bald, handsome, wearing glasses, dressed head to toe in leather and black, a face like ours. And he looked up and he saw us and he said, come in little sisters, you're home. And from that point on, we were. Oil and Spiegel became the place where we had family, where we laughed, where we shared, where we learned. And the man who was leading that meeting became not just a mentor and a teacher, but also a very good friend. 40 years later, I owe him for the woman that I've become. And now, as I have been privileged to serve on the board for the Leather Hall of Fame, I have read, learned, and discussed the biographies of the cornerstones and the foundation of the community that we've become. Men, women, and organizations who have helped to make this community and to help it grow. And today the board has decided to add Jack Jackson to the roster in the Leather Hall of Fame. The Carter Johnson Library is privileged to accept this award in Jack's name, and it will have a place of honor in the library. But on a more personal level, I am honored and privileged to accept this award for a man who is not just my mentor, but who is also my friend. Jack Jackson, the community honors you the way you helped build us. And to the Leather Hall of Fame, 